what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it What's well, good? Welcome back to the lab where we test out different units at 100% potential. Most of the time it'll be units that you don't really see too often at uh, rainbow status. I can't remember exactly which comment section on what video it was, but I remember seeing a comment about testing out this future my unit on a future category and, and see how she does. Actually a pretty interesting um, idea, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, do a quick video on this. Uh, Check. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with the stats overview. So this is the Fighting Eradication Future My uh, Leader Skill Intelligence Type HP and Defense Increase of 60%. Super Attack is the Flash Grenade causes Supreme Damage, also a rare chance to stun the enemy. Uh, passive Skill is a high chance of stunning the attacked enemy. And then Link Skills, we've got uh, Brainiacs, that's 10% to attack and defense. Uh, Rival Duo, 10% increased attack and also lowers attack enemies' defense by 15%. Uh, Cold Judgment will also increase defense by 20%. Battlefield Diva, plus 2 key. Dismal Future, plus 1 key. In terms of categories, she falls into two uh, Peppy Gals and Future Saga, like I said. Uh, maxed out HP is at 13,871, attack is 12,412, defense is 9,773, 12 key multiplier being 125%. Uh, so with the uh, super attack rare chance ability to stun, that's a 20% equivalent, and then the passive with the high chance is a 40% chance. So uh, pretty decent in terms of the uh, passive skill, but granted, uh, against the newest types of, well not even newest, most uh, Dokkan event bosses, uh, they're typically immune to uh, stunning and uh, sealing SA, but you know for other uh, scenarios she could definitely be worthwhile to have and, and you know we're talking about a pretty big boost on a future you know Saga category so you know I haven't really seen too much about her on this team setup so it'll be you know I, I was quite curious to see you know how she would do on this uh, setup. <clears throat> So for units that uh, are, you know, sus you know, sus uh, susceptible to uh, being stunned, uh, we'll go ahead and see how effective she is against those types, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So unfortunately, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is immune to being stunned and also the SA being sealed, so you won't really see any benefits from her uh, super attack or her passive skill. But uh, you know, in terms of you know, overall attack, it looks to be uh, typically about 440,000, and then depending on, you know, the type and then the uh, critical hit, uh, it can range, but uh, certainly uh, uh, not a bad unit now. Whether it's worthwhile to get to 100%, I mean, it really depends on your deck itself, first of all, and then, uh, you know, what kind of teams you're able to build uh, around that. So, I mean, she definitely does have, you know, her advantages in terms of, what she can bring to the team but uh link skills are definitely uh could be an issue but uh she does at least have like cold judgment uh that she shares with you know the future trunks for the most part uh dismal future is also another one battlefield diva i mean could could link up with pretty much any female uh unit and uh brainiacs i mean it's it's one of those that uh, uh some units have versus some don't so um, same thing applies to rival duo. So um, there's enough links, and it looks like for the most part there is a heavy focus on uh, defensive boosting uh, for uh, link skills. So you know, in terms of uh, the type of unit she is, I mean, honestly, she is a support type unit. So any uh, defensive boost will help. And then um, honestly, if if uh, if I were to go in and uh, max her out at 100% potential, I think. It would probably be a combination of additional tax and uh, evasion. That's probably the route you want to go. I don't think there's a, a need to go with any uh, criticals. I mean, obviously she can hit pretty well uh, with the criticals active, but you know, in terms of the unit itself, <clears throat> you know, the pro appropriate allocation for it. it uh, yeah, I would definitely uh, tend to say additional attack and evasion would probably be the right way to go about it. Uh, yeah, I mean additional attack definitely more so than than evasion because uh, she does have the high chance of stunning the attacked enemy So the more time she attacks, you know, the more beneficial that passive skill will be 
As you can see, uh, she has linked up with the super physical type uh, future trunks just because trunks also does provide a 25% boost toward uh, attack and defense, I believe. So, uh, definitely does help her out. And other units included on this team will have um, uh, a couple of links on here. Um, future Gohan, not necessarily so much, but. You know, even like the other Trunks units, uh, like LR Trunks will have uh, Cold Judgment as part of their links, as part of his link skill. Um, if I remember correctly, you know, I could be completely wrong, but <laughs> it's always hard to remember some stuff. But yeah, she, <clears throat> LR Trunks does have Cold Judgment as well, so you know that does help out with an extra 20% toward defense. So. You know, given with that uh, defensive boost that you could get from the link skills and then additional attack focus on, you know, increasing the uh, chance of stunning enemies and then also putting levels toward dodge, uh, she could certainly be a pretty decent unit. Alright, so uh, this is with type advantage against the Gohan unit. Uh, let's see if she can actually stun him because it doesn't look like he's immune to stun. Yeah, so it looks like uh, he did get stunned, so high chance is uh, equivalent of 40%. Uh, so definitely a, a decent... Well, actually... Um, I, I, you know, it's hard to say, like, high chance is 40 to 50, because I do hear, like, differing uh, opinions and statements about it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it really depends. Uh, but, I mean, at the end of the day, it, it ranges from 40 to 50%. So, given that, uh, it's still a decent percentage. I mean, you're looking at over, you know, you know, one out of three times. Uh, it's a greater chance than one out of three times that the, the attacked enemy will be stunned. So, definitely has its benefits. And I can't remember with the uh, Extreme Z battle if... Uh, Perfect Cell uh, is prone to being stunned or not. If so, uh, she could definitely be helpful with that. Um, yeah, let me let me check real fast because that that would be useful to know if uh, Perfect Cell is is immune to being stunned or not. But you know, given the restrictions within Extreme Z Battle, I I highly doubt that's the case. But um, yeah, you never know. Yeah, pretty much Extreme Z Battle, for the most part, it looks like uh, Cell is immune to being stunned, so that definitely negates that. So, uh, But she does fall into the future category, and she does have type advantage, so um, even if she's not able to stun, she could definitely um, you know, do, do a decent amount of damage as well as defend pretty well. I mean, she's got a variety of defensive links and then uh, she does have type advantage so even if she doesn't necessarily hit hard uh, she could serve as you know supporting defender type type deal you know what I mean so you know give or take it's it's uh, it ranges <clears throat> but uh, you know kind of unrelated to uh, this showcase in particular but um, so more news came out about you know, the stuff coming up uh, later on, well, actually this weekend, so it's a matter of days, really. Um, full power Goku coming out, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, actually. But And then you've got the uh, return of the uh, LR Gogeta and Vegito, so uh, things will definitely heat up a little bit, I'm sure, over on the JP side. And, and even on Global, 30-year uh, anniversary is coming up uh, very soon, so both uh, versions should be uh, a lot of activity happening, so... A lot of things to look forward to, um, you know, in, in addition to that, I mean, the Purunga uh, daily missions are coming back and JP is going to have that uh, other uh, component where you get seven free SSRs out of a selection of 77. So uh, hopefully Global does get that uh, similar treatment uh, down the road. Probably not going to happen for a few months, but, you know, hopefully that's the case and it's going to help out the uh, free, to, free to play type uh, people out. Uh, because that is a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good opportunity. Uh, I'm glad they, you know, added a, a, a big list to the uh, the options. You know, like out of 77, that's quite a quite a range, <clears throat> and not all of them are going to be useful. But the more options you have, the better uh, is the way I look at it.
<coughs> All right, so back to uh, Future My. Uh, definitely does pretty decent against that android, uh, but it is a much weaker enemy, so this will be uh, a little bit more interesting because the Super Android 17 definitely takes uh, a lot less damage than, than your typical bosses, but you know, overall, um, I'm sure you can tell from the video itself, she's not a bad unit maxed out. And, um, you know, if you happen to have dupes laying around, <clears throat> hopefully, uh, you know, this gave you uh, uh, an idea of whether it's worth it or not. I mean, make your own decision with that, obviously, but uh, this is more or less to kind of, you know, show you visibly um, what uh, certain units perform at 100%. All right, so pretty much going to wrap up the video here, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, as always, and, uh, you know, I'll be... Back around for next time.